Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am here today to show you how to make this super cute DIY kimono. Alright, so here are a few supplies that we're going to need. You're going to need a main fabric and an accent fabric, some matching thread, pins, tape measure, scissors, thread ripper, and ruler. Start off by measuring your sleeve length. We're measuring this garment just to kind of get an idea of what it is. I'll leave the measurements below of what I got so that you can use this as a guide if you don't have a kimono. But pretty much I'm getting an idea of what I need to make with my main fabric. I'm going to start by making sure that my fabric is even. Sometimes when you're in the fabric store, people don't cut straight. This fabric was completely crooked, so I needed to pin it all up and cut off the crooked parts to make sure my garment lined up perfectly. I have a yard of fabric here that was 45 inches wide. I'm going to start by making my sleeve opening as well as the sleeve shoulder one piece. So. I'm going to measure the center front, I'm measuring it, and I realize my fabric just isn't as wide, so I'm going to just kind of make adjustments. It's really easy to make a kimono. You're pretty much trying to make two front pieces and a center back piece, which virtually are two of the same front and back pieces. So I'm cutting down from the 45 degree angle that I made to make the shoulder slope. And then I'm going to cut up and underneath the arm. And again, this is because my fabric wasn't wide enough, so I'm gonna just add the accent fabrics to make the sleeves longer. I'm opening up my fabric here and laying the garment on top to see that it's pretty much the same shape. But I need to cut open a neck. So I'm folding the fabric back closed so that my neck can be symmetrical on both sides. I'm measuring down two inches from the top of the fabric and about four inches on the curve for the neck opening. I'm going to cut out this piece here and then open it up and true the fabric to make sure that the, the center back neck is smooth across. Be sure to always true your fabric one piece at a time. You want to make sure that it's soft and even. I'm pinning everything back because I want to now make my two front pieces. So I cut two of the same shapes. Now I need to make the center front opening, so I'm just pinning them to make sure they're even and cutting straight down the front. Because my fabric wasn't long enough for my sleeves, I'm making an accent fabric to make the sleeves longer. This is a plain weave fabric. Most plain weave fabrics you're able to make a little slit and then pull along the grain of the fabric as long as the grain is straight. I would advise doing a practice tear first to see how crooked or straight your fabric is. I'm now cutting the sleeve pieces, four of them, just as wide as they were on the sleeve opening. So now I have four identical sleeve pieces as well as two center fronts and a center back piece. Again, all of these measurements will be in the description box below. I'm going to start by attaching all of those accent sleeves to the main body of the regular sleeve with a single thread stitch, a single straight stitch, and then um, making sure to back tack at the end so that the fabric doesn't unravel. Taking your time and using pins is the best way to ensure that your seams are straight. Try on your fabric, um, your garment, halfway through. I'll let you see kind of like if there are any mistakes or how is it coming along. So as you can see here, I just need to sew up the side seams as well as uh, I tried it on inside out so you guys can see a little bit better what those seams look like. Um, on one side, I made a slit and the other side I forgot. I made the slit because it's just a little bit easier when you're sitting down or wearing this garment out. It makes it just a little bit less constraining. I did do a rolled hem. They're not the neatest, but they do look the best on these sheer fabrics. All right, so I'm putting this finishing piece around the neck. I just sewed those two piece, two strips of four inch wide by whatever um, together at the center back and lined it up. But my neck does this nice curve and then a sharp point down to the center front. But because I'm being super lazy and also I don't necessarily feel like making this into two different pattern pieces, 
I'm just going to trim off this corner so that when I flip this over, it literally is just a soft, straight front and not um, a neck and then straight down the front. All right, so this is what it looks like after I was trying to make sense. See at the top there where there's that little bit of a bubble? The smoother or the more you cut off at the top, the softer that edge will be. So here's your kimono. Now that you've done it in a few quick seams, I went ahead and hemmed it, the sleeves as well as the bottom, and that's it. It's really simple to make one of these things, so you should give it a try. Let me know what you want to see make next. I have a few extra pieces of fabric here and a whole lot of time with this quarantine. So until next time.